what's up you guys? Okay, so here we are at Swadish in Northgate. Northgate. In Northgate. And uh, here with some family members as you should look around here. Northgate, we've got Flags, we've got Yannis, we've got Ross, we've got Kevin. Sit, Dippy, and Kevs. Okay, fine, Zip Dippy and Kevs. Okay, then there's me and Bish. Yes. What we're doing right now is uh, we're kissing them, read an article. And then of course we have a bunny shop. But don't look at mine, look at Pregans. Because they don't always put eyes on my one. Don't put eyes on your bunny. They don't put eyes on my food. And you see now, we're doing the bunny challenge. Is this bunny going to defeat us? Or are we going to defeat the bunny? Okay, so now, I'm teaching those the proper way of how to chow bunny. I was very, very offended. The second John was pointing at my university. Welcome to Bunny Chow University 101. Lesson 1. What is a bunny chow? A bunny chow is a local South African fast food originating in Durban, KwaZulu Natal. It consists of a hollowed out section of a loaf of white bread, usually a quarter thereof, that is filled with Durban style curry containing either lamb or mutton, chicken or beans. The term bunny chow or bunny originates from the colloquial term for Indian people of Gujarati descent that is, the Banya people. I will now hand over to the Honorable Zaid Mutala to demonstrate the correct Bunny Chow dining etiquette. Yeah, Bunny Chow University 101 now, right? So the first thing you're going to do, Jana, put that thing on it. That's the first lesson, no fucking, no fucking, like, you don't fuck it up. Like, it fucks you up. No fucking fuck. Right. Okay, so this is the correct way, right? Some people eat with four fingers, right? Oh, no, I'm going to teach you with my baby. You're going to take three fingers, right? Because that's where the movement is. The movement is here. It's so like this. It's like this. It's like this. Right? The movement is here. And this here acts as a buffer. Because the worst thing you want, if you eat like this, and the curry gets stuck here, if you suck your hand and you don't want that. So you keep a buffer like this, right? So, it's a money protector. Protects it. Don't, no, no, don't look at mine. Look at your own. Point at your own, right? So, you're going to break like this, right? You break like this, you get some carrot salad oh, like this. You're gonna get some, uh, you're gonna get some, uh, some, some aloo, some potato like this. You're gonna open the hat, you're gonna pop it inside, you're gonna chew that more for and you're gonna do it again. A few moments later. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> There's some valves that were opened over here. Right. So one, two valves got open. Uh, <laughs> you are such a liar. So, Jola, how did you find it? Can we come again? Seriously, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, you used to have. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Proof. Yeah. And he, 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 he used his hands for this. Bro. All of them used their hands. Use yeah. yeah. those child plates and everything. Right? <laughs> so, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Plates are gone. No, we just turned my fingers and turned orange. <laughs> Uh, you know, I must say, it's an awesome chow. So the challenge initially was, where does this stack up against a Durban money? So we're gonna ask our not so impartial judge, Yanis. Say, say hello about your namas. What's the name of that? My name is Yanis. <laughs> <laughs> so how was the bunny? I think we had a. It was good. It's better than the peanut bunny. I can tell you that. Much. But it's not better than that. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not hot enough. And if you're gonna give me a bunny, you need to give me the end of the bunny, not the center of the bunny, because I'll drop two points right there. Right. Solid six and a half out of three. But it was a top bunny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, look, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it slightly higher. I'm gonna go maybe seven and a half, eight and a half. I would want to go higher than that because people are gonna judge me, you know, and they're gonna ask me for reasons. So, but what I can say is that look, I have like a four hour drive being here and I feel safe and secure to fasten my seatbelt because we're not going to be blasting off. So that's, 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 that's a different kind of mattress, bro. Yeah, you know? yeah, you're moving with the light. It's chemical mattress, bro. Right? Burn up on me and shoot him down. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to ask Ross then. Okay, well, this is my first time having money chat. In your whole damn life? My whole damn life. In your whole damn life? No. Wait, 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 money chat. I have money. Wait, 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 one second. You what was that? I have never had bunny chow in my entire damn
Yes, but for my first time, look, guys, we didn't have like the murderously hot ones like you guys had. But we had we had butter chicken, but like really, 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 really mild butter chicken. So it was slightly spicy. We're gonna end the night off with some soji. Yeah, yeah. So this is kind of like a different. Huh? Yeah, I've never had this. Uh, You've never had soji in your life. No, this this day. You've never had soji in your whole damn life. Soji in my life, but not like this artisanal soji. Yeah, you know, this is some like chef level shit, bro. <laughs> you can feel the heat. Look at that yeah. texture. Look at that. Thanks, bro. It's got a very cool texture. And this chef went to a modern sea school. Mm. It tastes like sweet, sweet Christmas. Sweet Christmas. <laughs> no, it tastes like Malva pudding. The texture, the texture, the texture is great. Malva pudding. Malva, bro. It's not chats with whaling soji, but it's okay. It's artisanal soji. It's artisanal soji. Look at it. Look at those ass chunks. Look at those textures, man. They use my granny's bowl to actually make the mold. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, you see, because it's artisanal soji, you gotta eat it in an artisanal style. So that's why you gotta have your little pinky out of the And you must smell it, smell it, smell it first. There we go, there we go, there we go, Zaddy's got it. I sit on the panel for like 10 seconds, right? You know, I get burned. <laughs> <laughs> not caro, not caro hot. Not pita hot. Just like hot, hot. You know? We interrupt this broadcast for the quick intermission. Class, question. Yanis? Ross? Yes? What do you think a Bombay duck is? Well, had I, had I been a little more arrogant, I would have said it's a duck that's fallen out of a bomb bay. But, um, that's just me. Uh, I, I actually don't know. I'm going to hand it over to my friend Xavier. Okay. Zed, what's a Bombay duck? I do not tell you until we ask the other rhetorical you know? <laughs> For BE purposes. <laughs> Reverse BE. <laughs> Reverse BE. <laughs> Jonna, in yeah. your own words, what is a Bombay duck? I'm going to guess it's an explosively spicy duck dish. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna no, no. let Yana Sovia tell you guys at home what it is because I won't have the courage to say it on camera. And because he's from the motherland, chat's what? You know, your mother is cooking Bombay Crush when you come home. And Bombay like, Crush? Two, I mean, Bombay Duck. <laughs> Bombay Crush is a different thing, and Bombay Crush is a different But we'll leave that for another episode. No, another episode. <laughs> Bombay Duck. Two roads away, you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> because that shit stinks. Oh, this kid is See, I lied. Don't die on me. Zane is dying. No, 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 no. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Drink some water and drink some water. Zay, do you know the whole shit? We need you for Comic Con next year. Blah, I relax. As you're saying, son. As you're saying. Right? Your mother probably made a bowl of rice. She made a, a, a tomato chutney. We just call it chutney. Because uh, like if you cook fruit, it's a chutney, right? To get technical. And then she also made this salty, very very, I would say, cured fish that is a Bombay duck. Okay. Bonus question, Ross. Yes. If I ask you if there's a jack in the boot, what do you think I'm referring to? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. If a jack in the boot. If I ask you if you've got a jack in the boot, what am I referring to? The well, first thing I'm going to think of is, well, I've got a jack in the boot of my car. What? Well, well, what is that? Let's let's put it to, uh, to John. John, could you tell us? It's not the in perfect your name for it too. Hey, John, Uncle John, you got a jack in the boot. In your own words, <laughs> yeah, I was very good. <laughs> what is a jack in the boot? <laughs> Would you like to call a friend? Yeah, what a friend. Here's the friend. She's got something in her mouth, but she can draw. Someone writing in a jack in the boot. 
The literal approach, I like that. The literal approach. Kregan. What is a jack in the boot? A jack in the boot is technically a very strong alcoholic drink that is kicked in the boot. What you mean? To Jack Daniels, bro? Preferably Jack Daniels. Preferably Jack Daniels. A very strong alcoholic drink. Now, let's be honest. How many times you all had cheap uncles and aunties that didn't have Jack Daniels in the boot? And, and he ended up being VAT 69. Yes. <laughs> Because there's nothing wrong with that 69. I drink that 69. I don't drink it when it's been in the sun for hours, but I drink it. That explains a lot. <laughs> At this point, I would like to see the pregnant does not represent the views of the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, how about this? I'm going to hit you with a couple of Scottish questions. No, that is all the time we have for right now. Yeah, now I'm going to go yes. back 